it comes to buying an electric car, there is a small problem when it comes to consumer knowledge and information. They know what a car is, they know how to drive it, and they know where to go to get one, the dealership. But what about fueling it? If you buy a petrol car or a diesel car, you go to a petrol station and you fill it up with either petrol or diesel. The pumps look very similar, although there's a very easy distinction between petrol and diesel, normally using a colour or a label of some description. But when it comes to electric vehicles, charging them, well, it's a complete minefield. There are loads and loads of different names for charging connectors. There are loads of different charging speeds and charging standards. And if I had a dollar for every time I walked past someone at my local supermarket, trying to plug their brand new electric car into a super fast charging station when the car doesn't even have the same connector, I'd be rich by now. So how do you solve this problem? How do you get from a very technical, nerdy description of how the charging connections work and are made and function? And how do you make it so that consumers can understand? Well, there's a guy here in Portland, Oregon, who thinks he's found out the solution. Meet Matt Teske of Chargeway. My background with the automotive industry is that I've been working in marketing and strategy and branding for the last 20 years within automotive. So I understood what a dealer was looking for from a new product. And EVs are essentially that new product. But at the end of the day, it was still a car. So the way that I looked at it, I thought, what's the barrier at a dealer side? What, what is it they can't explain? And it really is the fuel. And so I wanted to find a creative way to look at the engineering that was complicated and turn it into something that everybody could use. Today, when any regular consumer walks into a dealership that is an uninformed consumer about electric vehicles, if they have a question about the product, oftentimes the dealer is unable to answer the question. Oftentimes the dealers are not sure or even knowledgeable in the fact that there are four physical different plug types in the United States that a consumer might encounter after they buy their car. Or the fact that there are hundreds and hundreds of levels of kilowatt that dictate how long your charge might take compared to the size of your battery pack and your state of charge. So even saying that out loud sounded simple to me because I've learned about it a lot, talked about it a lot, but the reality of it is a dealership won't be able to teach that to their sales associates quickly, especially when they can just turn around and sell a car that runs on regular. And so with Chargeway, we wanted to focus on how do we explain charging to someone who has never seen it before in their life. Getting rid of the engineering terminology, kilowatts, things of that nature, acronyms like J1772 and Chatmo, and make it inviting because all these people that were trying to get into electric cars have been driving cars that run on regular or premium. And that's all they have to remember the day they buy their car and for the rest of the time they own it. So we wanted to create a language that was simple so you could say you only have to remember a color and a number. From a consumer's perspective, the shopping experience would be different if the dealerships adopted Chargeway. If they were to walk into any dealership today, they're going to have to figure out and learn a lot of engineering terminology, and that's if the dealer knows how to explain it. With Chargeway, they're only going to hear about the color and number that vehicle uses at the particular dealership that they're at. So if they're at a Nissan dealership, for example, the sales representative could say, this vehicle charges using green stations for slow charging and blue stations for fast charging. The higher the number, the faster you charge. Or if it's at a dealership that offers a vehicle with a J1772 combo CCS, it would say, well, no, this vehicle runs on green stations. The higher the number, the faster you charge. So it's easier for a dealer associate to remember how to sell a color and a number and for a consumer to say, I can remember that easily. It's just like turning up your stereo. Higher the number, the faster you charge. I just got to find my color. The way the Chargeway looks in the real world is that we're going to have a few solutions, one of which is software. You can have it in your pocket and take it with you once you've purchased an EV. But for the dealerships, they also need help. It can't just be a conversation they have. They also need to have an electric fuel sales assistant with them at all times inside of a dealership. So we've developed software that can be both at the dealer in a chargeway beacon and a way for them to walk the customer through how simple it is to find and use a charging station depending on the make and model vehicle they sell. And then the day they leave the dealership, the consumer will have that in their pocket so they know exactly where their car can go and how they use it. And then when they arrive at a charging station, it's as simple as having trusted networks utilizing the simple labeling system. The Beacon is going to be a larger example of what will be the Chargeway app that will be in your pocket once you purchase an electric vehicle and leave the dealership. So it's not that the dealership will ever be alone. The sales associate, if they have a question, they can reference what's going on in the Chargeway Beacon to show you which stations work for this vehicle, using a timer to show you how each station will charge this vehicle, and even planning a road trip. And so that consumer can see with confidence that this is simple to use for that make and model, purchase with confidence, and then once they leave, they'll have that exact same software in their pocket that makes it simple to use. To incentivize utilities to back Chargeway, we want to show them that this is a benefit to them to cut through the clutter. And it, and it adds a simplicity. And sometimes simplicity can be sexy because it's easy to enjoy. 
And so we want to show that electric fuel is actually something that is trustworthy as regular gasoline. And so in that, we can then show to the dealerships, well, you have a trusted partner now with the utilities that understand where they stand in the marketplace. And as a consumer, they have to interact with both. And if they can use both with confidence, then they can drive with confidence. For allowing utilities to put their own mark on what they're selling to consumers, we look at Chargeway as an agnostic idea. We want it to be universal to every utility around the country in the sense that there's not one way to do it. So we want to show them that if you're in any state, they can say it's driven by color. You can say with fun taglines what they're going to see when they're on the road. For a consumer, they don't have to worry about decision fatigue. They don't have to find themselves saying, well, I don't want to have to learn this because I haven't had a long enough day. I can just go to a gas station to get regular. In the future, they can say, I can just go to a charging station and use green. Chargeway can be rolled out to existing infrastructure actually quite easily. For the software that we've developed and how it will work with consumers and with dealers, that's the focal point that we wanted to make sure we could make a turnkey product and solution for all the stakeholders that are needed to make this live. But with that now developed, we can actually turn to the networks and say, we will send you educated consumers that are not early adopters. And we can all we request from you is provide us some very accurate data and we will send you these consumers and drivers that want to use your product. And you just simply have to label the system that won't take away from your branding. It just shows what you offer at that station in the same way that a gas station will say, we offer 87, 89, and 92. This particular charging station might offer blue four and green four. And you just simply know which one you choose. So to prove to everyone that our research and product is backed up by true data of understanding what the average consumer wants to get beyond early adopters, we actually did a lot of research studies, and one of which was just asking the everyday folks that drive cars, whether it's a Subaru or a Honda or any kind of make and model that happens to run on gasoline, is what's your experience with that car? And the idea is saying, what do you drive? And what do you use when you go to the gas station? And seeing how they responded, not by showing them a survey that allowed them to choose multiple choice, but what was the first word that came to their mind? And we found that most people, over 90%, use two words, regular or premium. But then when asking them if they know what octane is, oftentimes they said no. And so what we realized was the engineering was something that maybe gearheads might enjoy, but most people just want to get in, get out, and get on with their life. And we then drew parallels in our research to ask if they used devices that plugged in, such as a smartphone, and if they knew how many kilowatts their smartphone was using. And they just said no, 96%. Could not say anything other than no. Why? Because electricity to a lot of people is like magic. You hit the light switch, the light bulb turns on, you plug your phone in, it charges, and you get a bill in the mail and you pay it. And so with charging, there's a similar expectation from the general public to say, don't make me learn something new. My life's busy enough as it is. With Chargeway to convey to consumers how quickly their car can charge, we wanted to focus on what their expectation was. And through our research, we found that most people look at the fueling process with their current vehicle with time. And that's what they care about. And then when plugging in an electric device, they care about time. And so we know it's important that they know what time is, but the distance they can travel after charging time is also important. So within Chargeway, we created a timer that captures both of those elements. And they can actually choose to see how much time and how much charging speed and how much distance they can get at any location. I think that Tesla has created an elegant ecosystem for what you can do with an electric vehicle. And effectively with Chargeway, we wanted to prove that their model is not something that is a super special sauce in the sense that it can't be replicated. Through collaboration, the industry can actually prove that we know how to do the same thing is that the utilities can say, we can drive the conversation for how you trust electric fuel. Tesla did that because they made it an undeniable customer experience for buying a Tesla, using a Tesla, and using their charging network. Because we don't have that same level of simplicity for the differing and competing charging networks, they're still selling electrons. So we can raise everybody up and say, well, you can use any charging network simply using the language that identifies what your car only uses. We plan to prove that this technology should be adopted through a pilot program here in Oregon. We're actually going to be partnering with major stakeholders that can help change this narrative, which include Portland General Electric, Pacific Power from the utility side. And we're also working with the Oregon Automotive Dealers Association who are excited to see this in their showrooms. They've been looking for something to provide that simple solution. And also involved is going to be the Oregon Department of Transportation. They're working with various networks around the state. And also fourth, here in Oregon, their outreach programs and what they've been working on to accelerate electric vehicle adoption is what we're excited to support but we're already working with networks. OpConnect has already said and confirmed that they want to make sure the Chargeway is on their stations because they see the incentive and the benefit of driving new informed consumers to their locations to easily use their networks. And we're talking with other networks already as well. And we're also going to be working with Durst Energy for the deployment of how Chargeway will look in the field at every charging station. With this information from the pilot program, we'll be able to then walk away saying, here's our data and here's how we know we can roll it out. We will learn things as we do this but we're very confident we have the right answer. From a pricing perspective for cost, we're actually gonna be working with public utilities and dealer associations around the country to help bring this to market. From a consumer perspective, there's no cost to them. 
And from the dealer side, depending on what their EV sales model looks like, they may need some support. And that's where we look for the public utilities to say, we want you selling cars that run on electric fuel. And so that's where we can show Chargeway is the benefit to the utility for outreach and education, not just to their customer base, but also within dealerships to help instill that confidence to a dealer to say, you can sell cars that run on gas, but also this new fuel that we offer here locally. If, if anyone that has seen Chargeway that isn't from the Pacific Northwest in America likes what Chargeway is and they're interested, we invite you to contact us, let us know. But on top of that, we need you to be advocates. The same reason EV adoption has gotten to where it's at today is because of advocacy, early adopters and excited buyers and excited owners. So if we see collectively that this will help take us into that mainstream buyer and truly get more people buying electric, please advocate for Chargeway. Help us actually move this industry forward in a way that we can talk to the general public and get more people driving electric.